Hello everybody, my name is Sunita and thank you for watching another eTop technology training video. Today we will learn how to set up quick steps in Microsoft Office Outlook 2010. What are quick steps and how are they helpful? Quick steps enable you to apply multiple actions to your email messages at once. They can be useful as they allow you to automate common or repetitive tasks. In Microsoft Outlook 2010, Quick Steps can be found on the Home tab, right in the center of it. Click on the More button here. To quickly manage your Quick Steps, where you can create, edit, delete, and rearrange them. Listed here are built-in Quick Steps that you only need to customize once and you can use them to quickly move through your emails. The first one is the Move to Quick Step. This one would move selected email to a folder after marking the email as read. To edit this Quick Step, click on Edit. You can change the name of the Quick Step here and change the icon for this Quick Step by clicking here. You can also change the actions for the Quick Step. As stated in this built-in quick step, it would move a selected email to a folder. Below that option, we can choose whether to always ask for a folder or select a desired folder. I'll select test emails. The second action states to mark the email as read. We'll leave that as it is. You can also add another action to this quick step. Optionally, you can choose a shortcut key for the quick step. So when you hit this combination on the keyboard, it will perform the action of the select the quick step. Click on save. The second quick step is a to manager quick step. And this would forward a selected email to your manager. So let's click on edit. Again, you can change the name and the icon. Here, in the to field, you can enter the email address of your manager. However, if your organization uses the Microsoft Exchange server, it should automatically detect your manager's email address and enter it here. Click on Show Options. And here you can add CC or add BCC to the email. You can also insert a subject, flag the message, change the importance and enter a little message here. There is also the option to automatically send after a one minute delay. In addition, you can add another action to this quick step. And again, you can choose a shortcut key. So I'll cancel this one. The third quick step is the team email quick step, which would create a new email to your team. Click on edit. Like the previous quick steps, you can change the name, icon, actions, and like the tool manager quick step, if your organization uses a Microsoft Exchange server, then it should automatically detect your team email and insert it here. If not, you have the option of entering it manually. If you click on show options and these are the same options that are available in the Tool Manager Quick Step. So let's click on Cancel. The fourth Quick Step is the Done, which would mark the selected email as complete. Move the email to a folder and marks the email as read. Click on Edit to the edit this one. So Done would mark the email as complete and move it to a folder. You can choose the folder here. So I will select send items and of course I'll mark the email as read and like the others there are additional options that you can customize so let's click on save lastly there is the reply and delete which would reply to the sender and delete the original message so now that we've looked at the built-in quick steps we'll now duplicate the tone manager quick step to forward emails that you're suspected of having viruses or other malware 
The eTop technology help desk. Select the Tool Manager Quick Step and click on Duplicate. We'll quickly enter the name of the Quick Step eTop Tech Help Desk. Let's choose an icon for it. Click on OK. In the tool field, we'll enter eTop's technology help desk email address, which is helpdesk at etoptechnology.com. Show options. We'll change the importance to high and we'll quickly enter a message. And I'll just specify a shortcut for it. I'll change the tool that text the far the selected email to eTop help this. Finish. Click on OK to save this. The quick step that we just created is here now. You can also create a new quick step at, from the button at the bottom here. You can select move to, categorize and move, flag and move or custom. So let's quickly create a custom quick step. You can change the name and the icon and select an action for the quick step. Select delete message. Click on finish. So this quick step would simply delete the message when action. Click on OK. So in my inbox here, I have a test email. And I'll use the move to quick step, which would move the selected email to a folder after marking the email is read. So I have specified that this quick step moved the email to the test emails folder. So let's click on move to and check test emails. And here you go. Multiple actions with just one click. The beauty of quick steps. In this video, we learned about the built-in quick steps. The move to marks selected messages read and moves it to the chosen folder. The to manager forwards the message to your manager. Either your manager as defined in the external server or a specific person that you select. The team email forwards the message to your team. Either your team as defined in the Exchange server or a specific group that you select. Done. Marks message is read. Marks message is complete and moves message to a chosen folder. Reply and delete. Opens up a new reply window for the selected message and deletes the original message. We also learned how to duplicate the Tone Manager Quick Stop to forward an email suspected of having viruses to eTop Technology Help Desk. To do this, on the home ribbon, go to Quick Steps, click on the More icon, and choose Manage Quick Steps. Select to Manager and click on Duplicate and enter eTop's Technology Help Desk email address in the to field which is helpdesk at etoptechnology.com. Finally, enter desired name, subject, flag, importance, text, and shortcut key. Thank you for watching another etop technology training video. For more videos, please visit our website or keep up to date with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a good day.